y'all, Grandma Rose here. I wanted to show you how to collect celosia seeds today. We've been talking about the plants and the flowers and the seeds, but I want to show you exactly what you need to do to collect them because it's really, really easy. Collecting celosia seeds couldn't be easier. So what I have here, clippers, I have a pie pan and a mesh colander. And all I'm going to do is cut off some of, the, some of the flowers, put them in the colander, and then just shake them. And the seeds should fall through. Let's see if it works. Let's find a good one. Here's a little flower right here. What I'm looking for are the ones that are really dry. Now they all have pink tips at the end, but I'm looking for this for the stems that look like this. Do you see how they're dry up most of the way? Now this is what I'm looking for. I hope you can see this. Let's see if I can find some more. is I'm holding the colander under the flower as I cut it and I'm cutting it directly into the colander. Okay, this should be plenty. So do you see what I have here now? I have my cal colander and my pie pan and all I'm going to do is shake it or shake, or shake these into it. And kind of rub them your fingers like that over over the colander and just rubbing it in my hands like that I'm taking this one and just rubbing it in my hands and I don't know if you can hear the seeds falling into here I will take this in and we'll clean it up some more but for now I want to show you what I've done in just this few minutes and I have this many flowers cut, which is not a whole lot, and look what I've got in here. I'm going to put this down, let you look at it, and then I'm going to go inside. Uh, if I let this dry a lot more. Had a wasp fly on me, and I did not want that. Sorry about that. So we're going to go inside. I'm going to go inside, but before I do that, I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to let you see how many seeds are in this pan. And then I'll take this inside. And in a few days, it will be the flower heads on these flowers that I've cut will be completely dry and more, fly, more seeds will come out of it. So once these flowers that I have in the colander are more dry, we'll get more seeds out of it. But for right now, that's all. this is all I would need to plant probably for a couple of years. That's plenty. So let's go and see. As far as garden seeds go, those are very small. I'm trying to think what they're about the same size as. I don't know. Maybe maybe some of the mm, mustards, perhaps. I don't know. I would have to compare. But they're very, very small seeds. You get an eighth teaspoon and you get a lot of them. So there you go. This is the Celosia seeds. There's the celosia flowers. And as we've talked about, celosia is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful herb. And so we want to collect the seeds, and this is how easy it is. And then, Daniel, let me move this out of the basket. I've got this basket lined with freezer paper. And down in here, you know, look at all these seeds. Isn't this something? Look at that. And that right there is enough to plant a whole garden. And all it'll take is just a few plants. I may, I may have maybe a dozen plants. If you want it, I am going to have a whole lot of seed. Lots and lots and lots of celosia seed. So these are just, I've broken most of this off. I've just taken 
taken these flowers. Here's one, one of the flowers and I've just been taking it with I'm holding the camera with one hand but just doing that knocking the flowers off into this into this and that broke that one but that's okay so these seed heads are opening and I don't know, let me see if you can see in here get close in there you see the seeds in there lots and lots and lots of seeds let me get another one do you see all the seeds in that so I've just been knocking them off so that's why the, all this stuff is in here but as I just rubbing my thumb over that all these seeds are falling out and I'm going to let these dry and when they're dry I'll be able to remove all the chaff and I'll be left with just the seeds and then I'll let that let those dry out and then I'll package those up for sharing and I don't know how if I'm I don't think I'm going to sell them I think I'll probably give these away these were a gift a friend gave me her the seedlings because she had so many coming up in her yard she didn't want to throw them away so she was giving away the seedlings the shiny black little things smaller than the head of a, of a pen little bitty things they're not the smallest seeds that I've got. So there's the Celosi seeds. Here's the like the individual flowers. Look at all these seeds. Amazing, amazing. So anyway, I've been having fun today. Playing with my seeds, which is fun. I mean, I'm working. I'm, I'm collecting seeds. And I'm dehydrating, dehydrating these flowers. And I'm learning, and I love it when I learn something new. Don't y'all? All these seeds. Look at all these seeds. No wonder my friend had so many plants coming up. I mean, there's thousands of seeds right here. And this is only a, a small number of flowers that I picked off of this. There'd be millions of seeds coming off these few plants that I got. So have fun, y'all. Learn something new today. I think we've got a lot of it cleaned up. Not entirely, but it's better. This is what's left. Blow on it. Most of it. In the seed industry, when they're cleaning up seeds like this, they have it's a column. It's a column of air. I don't know exactly how big it is. I've forgotten. Oh, three or four inches in diameter, maybe. And the air blows through it. And as the air blows through it, the chaff like this blows out of it. So it's an easy way for them to clean up the seed. And they, as also in their seed labs, how they measure the amount of chaff and things that are in the seed lots as they're coming through. And look at that, I've got them stuck all over my hands. So I think for the most part, that's good enough. For my, for my purposes, I don't think I need to clean it up any better than this. Maybe if I do it like this, tilt it. And tilt it like that. And the seed goes down. And what's left behind pick out some of these seeds, put this in a different container, and, and continue to clean that up. And that's the easiest way to do that. And what you, what you end up with is something like that on that side, and that on that side. If somebody got that many seeds, I don't think they would mind if there was a little bit of chaff in it. They obviously can tell the difference between the seeds and the non-seed, and it continues to stick to their hands. Mm -hmm.